Welcome back to Anime Lockdown. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mike Tool with Anime Cult Classics. Hey everyone, uh, glad to be here at uh, at Anime Lockdown at the convention that is extremely online. Uh, looks like we got a couple of hundred of you turned out to say hello. Uh, it's great to see you all. This convention has been a lot of fun so far, and I'm hoping uh, that we can keep that going in the next hour as we learn about uh, some pretty high weirdness. So if we could go to the next slide, I'll introduce myself. Uh, so, uh, hola muchachos, what's shaken? My name is Mike Tool. Uh, I am the editor at large at uh, Anime News Network. I'm a producer for Disco Tech Media. Uh, we'll have a panel tomorrow at 12.30 that you won't want to miss. And uh, if you are an extremely religious person, uh, if you take your faith seriously, I uh, just want to give you a fair warning. Uh, there might be a, This might be a bumpy ride. There's a lot of weird religious ephemera in what we're about to discuss, and I'm going to be talking pretty irreverently about it. I just want to make sure you all understand that um and as, as far as that photo of me goes uh, any, anyone ever noticed that there's like a billion remixes of that old town road song but only one song about the boys being back in town what's up with that anyway if we could go on to the next slide uh we need to start by uh, asking this question by defining what a cult is uh, it's helpful if we try to set up some parameters uh, for, for the cult and uh, parameters that do not include uh, ian astbury billy duffy and a hot ass rock and roll song called love removal machine uh, so a cult is a, a new religious movement. Uh, most of them are under 100 years old uh, with some kind of unusual beliefs. Uh, they, they might, they might uh, mix religious doctrine that, that usually don't go together. A number of cults are prosperity religions, which means that uh, they, sp they specifically attract people into the faith by promising that if they are good followers, they will become wealthy. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that sounds pretty familiar. Uh, cults also tend to have highly centralized leadership. Uh, very often on a single charismatic figure who controls almost every aspect of the organization, and they have a tend to get they have a tendency to get over involved in the lives of their membership. Uh, you hear a lot about cults who isolate members from their family or try to recruit their entire family and do that kind of stuff. Now, the first clip we're going to run in a in a second is a hundred percent not actually Japanese animation, but I think it's still a good example of what these cults are, how they operate, and a great icebreaker. Uh, here's a nice old man who is ready to share an important nugget of wisdom with us. Next slide.햇살도 좋고 바람도 좋고 오늘은 참 날이 좋습니다. 아, 여기 예쁜 꽃도 있네요. 이 꽃과 우리에게는 공통점이 있습니다. 그 공통점은 모든 사람에 대한 미래 예언이기도 하죠. 그게 무엇인지 궁금하시죠? <웃음> 그건 바로 모두가 죽는다는 것입니다. Yep, that's right. And uh, if we could go to the next slide, we are going to be talking about uh, Dan Yoga, which is a blend of yoga, Tai Chi, and brainwave exercise manipulation. Uh, it's called Dan Hak in Korean. So let's, let's introduce uh, ourselves to some of the core tenets of this faith. Let's go on to the next slide. You're my darling little flower, sweetheart God. I yearn for you. I yearn for you. I yearn for you. Hey, 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 where are we going right now? Okay. Why are we racing like our lives depended on it? Oh, oh. Hey. oh this okay. is so hard. Why are we doing this? I think I'm going to take a break. Oh, oh, uh, I, I, I'm a little confused. Why is everybody slowing down? Hey. I remember where we're going. We're going to meet the egg, remember? Now, when he says we're going to meet the egg, he means this guy. Let's go to the next slide. 
This is the leader, the boss, the head honcho of Don Yoga, uh, a gentleman named Ilchi Lee. Uh, and if we go to the next slide, we can see a little advertisement for one of his lectures. Uh, these, like literally every one of the cult leaders we're going to be examining today, uh, writes a bunch of books, does a bunch of lectures. They, they have hundreds, some of them, in some cases, thousands. Uh, this guy writes a bunch of books, very important ones, and uh, about, about the brain operating system. You know, I remember BOS. Wasn't, wasn't that the mid-1990s alternative to Mac OS System 7? Anyway, one important fact about Don Yoga, and this is an exciting trend, is that they've rebranded. If we go to the next slide, you can see that they have a new name. Uh, actually, they are now called Body and Brain. They're not called Don Yoga anymore, and that's very important. So uh, if we go to the next slide, we, we can see a handsome man with a little mustache. And uh, the explanation that they almost certainly rebranded because uh, somebody died practicing uh, Don Yoga and they got sued. There was someone who tried a little too hard to achieve the enlightenment they offered, and uh, and they did not survive the experience. Uh, that, that's also uh, a reoccurring trend uh, in these cults. A few of them have uh, have gotten people uh, hurt or killed, uh, and that's that's too bad. But this is an interesting subject, so we'll keep on it. Uh, here's the cover. If we go to the next slide of uh, of one of one of Mr. Lee's books, um, you know he he made the conscious decision to live for 120 years. Uh, that's that's a very interesting thing. So if you press next again, you can see the cover of the book that I'm going to write. Where I'm going to show this guy up, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide to live 121 years. What do you think about that, Ilchi Lee? Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I thought. Anyway, uh, hit next slide and let's look at another clip. Have you forgotten? That's our dream. We mustn't forget. I was once just a teeny tiny sperm. Before that. I was a cell in my parents' bodies. Before that, I was grain, fruit, and water. And before that, I was the sky and the dirt. I was the whole earth. Now, I am a human being with a soul. Just as a sperm went on a long, difficult journey in search of the egg, my soul wants to find and become one with divinity. Once, we were each a single sperm. That sperm set out on a difficult journey in search of the egg. And then, finally, it achieved its dream of becoming a human being with a soul. A human being has a soul. The soul and the heart that longs to be united with divinity. Human beings are lonely because of this search. A loneliness that cannot be resolved with simple love or money. Okay, so if we go to the next page, yeah, you can see the diagram that we just saw at the end of that video. Anytime you see something like this, and this, this shows up in a few different places uh, among these cults, it should alarm you. It's, it's a little spooky. And uh, remember, uh, you, you see folks in uh, gym clothes, training clothes like this, because body and brain... Uh, are not technically a religious organization. Uh, they, 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 they sell franchises. They're actually more like a chain of gyms. They're, they're like the planet fitness of weirdo cults using animated cartoons to hawk their wares. Also, I really like the music in that last clip. That was definitely some, we want the Oscar music. Uh, let's go to the next slide, uh, where we can see one of Body and Brain's important spiritual diagrams. And what they sell is business yoga. Uh, which I, I love the idea of that. That's like business hugs. That's like that's a galaxy brain kind of thing. Uh, it utilizes the uh, the miracle of brainwave vibration, which involves shaking your head around a whole lot. And uh, I have an example, so let's roll that beautiful brain footage. We don't need to see this whole thing. You can go to the next one. So, yeah. Uh, the cost of enlightenment is about $100,000. Uh, and, and just so you know, that lady was uh, practicing controlled breathing. Okay, It only sounded like she was hissing like a snake. Anyway, uh, if the, this is like a lot of these cults. If they can get around a hundred grand out of you, they'll, they'll very likely proclaim you uh, an enlightened person. There's usually some sort of price tag with these organizations. Uh, and and, uh, and then, you know, then, they'll, then, you, then you will have the secrets of the universe. So now let's finally uh, go from a, a Korean businessman practicing largely in America uh, to, to make cartoons to sell his faith to Japan, the land of Buddhism. And uh, remember to sing along with this song. Go to the next slide.
Yay. Okay. You can go to the next slide. That was, that was like two minutes long, man. I'm sorry to torture you guys with that, but uh, I definitely have the heart of a lion cub now. I don't know about you. Uh, and, and technically in that clip, the animation was only appearing in the background, but that tune is an excellent sample of, uh, of a lot of what we're about to witness from the Soka Gakkai, uh, with, which are a refraction of ancient Buddhist tradition uh, through kind of treacly messages of global unity. That's the Soka Gakkai. So uh, let's go to the next clip. Teacher, teach us a lesson. さいがに残ったのは竹志くんとのぼるくんだね。よし。じゃんけん。はい、こだ。はい、こで。はい、こで。じゃん。あ、のぼるくんの勝ちだ。やった。僕が勝った。<笑> たけしくん。たけしくん。机の上。え。ここだよ。な、なんだびっくりした。うん。どうなってんの僕は特別の神でよってやって、みんなを乗せて自由に宇宙を飛べるの。宇宙をそう。だから。宇宙。だから、ち
we can go to the next slide uh, to talk about uh, what we just saw. I like all the comments I'm seeing on the channel about the uh, the subtitles. Uh, the, the, a real translator didn't create those guys. Come on, I, I made those. Um, you know, if, if you watch Japanese animation for 20 years, even if you're pretty passive about it, you can get the gist of what is being said. And where you can't, you just guess. Now that that's a that's a hallmark of uh, of fan subbing culture, the guesslation. Uh, I will also point out that uh, you know not only is it is Uchu no Jigoku that that literally means state space hell and that's that's actually an overly literal translation you know it's it's you know a hot spring is also a Jigoku you know it's it's a space tempest but space hell is way funnier so that's why we're doing that anyway most of these Soka Gakkai children's stories have the same structure where a child is rambunctious or unsociable and he and the child then wrongs another child as as we saw the kid stealing the crane from the other kid and then divine forces intervene and they show the errant youngster the uh, errors of their ways by giving them a wonderful adventure a moral lesson and then a reward for being a little shit you know for being such a complete bastard that they that they had to be taken on an adventure to learn a lesson anyway uh, let's go on to the next clip wins of victory it was awesome what is he thinking? Hmm. Kenji! I'm not gonna let you to score again! Are you all right? He's really hurt. Somebody get a doctor. What are we going to do? He busted his uh, knee. Oh, uh, it's bad. Uh, it's really bad. Uh, Is that blood? I guess that decides our starting lineup, right, coach? Yeah. Yoshio Tateishi? Here. Daiji Nakamura? Here. Koji Sakamoto? Here. Kenji Saito. Uh, here. Go Akagi. Here. Makoto Yamaguchi. Here. That's our starting lineup for this year. Congratulations. You men will be the players for the first string this season. Good luck. But no matter which squad you're on, the first string or the second string, what matters most is achieving your own personal best. That's what makes the entire team strong. Understand? Yes, sir. And now, about what happened to Utah yesterday. His left ankle is badly injured. The doctors. Yep, uh, we can go to the next slide. That is that is uh, Dan Warren, the voice of Roy Foker, uh, in that dubbed version. There are a whole bunch of LA actors in this. Uh, and so to recap what we just saw, Goofus uh, did not appreciate the soccer skills of his teammate, Gallant, and so he broke his leg on the training field. Uh, incidentally, I agree with Daryl Surratt. Uh, that was a completely legal challenge. He got the ball before he broke his leg. That's what's important. Then, after he injured the star player and put him on the bench for the season, Goofus was named to the starting 11 of the senior team. So, way to go, guys. That, that's how you teach a lesson. Anyway, this isn't really part of the lesson, but it's something really funny, so I wanted to show it to you. Let's go to the next slide. Good morning, Utah. What are you doing here so early today? Good morning. We have a scrimmage against Futaba High School this afternoon. You don't have to do that. Let the younger guys take care of cleaning the balls. Well, I don't... <laughs> Did you hear that? Cleaning the balls. Let's hear that one more time. Next slide. Afternoon. You don't have to do that. Let the younger guys take care of cleaning the balls. Well, I don't mind. I love that. Very important stuff. So let's let's see what is next in the big game. What's going to be the final lesson learned by everyone? Next slide. Hey, Yuta. Huh? Hi. Hey, Kenji. Yuta. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm all right. Listen, Yuta. I... Huh? I wanted to... To apologize. I'm sorry, man. 
okay? Sure. It's okay, really. Many different winds of change blow over this field. Sometimes the winds of defeat, at other times the winds of endurance. And when we're lucky, even the winds of friendship. But of course we also look to the winds of victory. Okay, we've heard enough. Let's go to the next slide. Great, thanks, thanks for that, uh, JP. So uh, uh, since people were asking about the song, that's why I showed it to you, uh, the singer of that song was a musician uh, named Rafael Antonio Oliver. Uh, you may know him as Tony Oliver, the voice of Lupin the Third. So yeah, that, that guy's got a pretty good set of pipes on him, huh? <laughs> anyway, the Soka Gakkai are an offshoot of Nichiren Buddhism, which is one of Japan's most popular sects of Buddhism. And that's their cover, man. Uh, they, you know, they, they, they will happily try to sit under that umbrella and say, yeah, yeah, we're, we're a Nichiren Buddhist tradition. Uh, the, the term Soka Gakkai means the value creating society. And uh, they have a pet political party called Komeito. Uh, that's not actually really allowed in Japan. <laughs> there's, there's a constitutional rule against it. Um, so, so they've had to do some weird maneuvering to, uh, to keep that going. Uh, they, they claim that it's just coincidental that a whole bunch of their members are uh, part of this political party. And back in the 1950s and 1960s, um, they were really keen on outreach. Uh, they, their leader wanted to grow their base rapidly. So they would, uh, they would go around evangelizing in people's homes. And uh, if they didn't join, uh, they would threaten them and uh, beat them up a little and, uh, you know, go to their family and just be huge nuisances. And this, this doesn't really happen anymore. Uh, Soka Gakkai, in some ways, is just part of mainstream society, but the, but the bad reputation has stuck around. And uh, Soka Gakkai are also actually pretty widespread. Uh, they're in many countries, and there's even a branch in my hometown of Boston. I've, uh, I've walked by there a couple of times. That's kind of interesting. And uh, I've talked to some people who have friends in the organization. Uh, so I have a friend who was a roommate with a Soka Gakkai member once. He said that the person mostly just chanted ancient Buddhist sutras in the morning and was a kind of obnoxiously positive person. By all accounts, they're a bit harmless these days, but pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, uh, what you you know that 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 treacly uh, template of the bad person learns to be good and create value. That was a blueprint for at least half of Mr. Akeda's beloved children's books. Uh, so let's watch the next clip of uh, of his vision of a unified Earth. So yeah, we are the world, everyone. And uh, JP, I have a request for you just to kind of make sure we don't start running out of time. If you could skip ahead to slide 35, uh, where we're going to learn a little bit about uh, our uncle uh, Daisaku Ikeda. Uh, a lot of these cults, uh, the person that you're going to be learning about is the person who founded the cult. And that is not the case uh, for Daisaku Ikeda. And uh, I, oh, yep, looks like you're on the slide now. Excellent. Uh, Daisaku Ikeda came into Soka Gakkai and, uh, and, and kind of carried it into the modern world. Let's learn about him in this next clip. Da 
Isaku Ikeda was born in Tokyo, Japan on January 2, 1928. He's a leading Buddhist philosopher, a peace activist, and a writer who has published over 100 books. He writes on topics related to peace, education, and human life, and is also a poet. He has written 23 children's books, which have been published in 19 languages. His stories are about universal values such as the preciousness of life and the importance of compassion and courage. Many of them have been made into animated films and broadcast on TV stations around the world. Daisaku Ikeda was a teenager when World War II broke out. From his experience of the horrors of war, he became determined to dedicate the rest of his life to creating peace and friendship among all people in the world. After the war, Dasaku Ikeda met Jose Toda, the man who became his mentor and the inspiration in his life. Jose Toda was a teacher and the leader of the Soka Gakkai Buddhist group. In okay, so we can go to the next slide and get a look at this jo uh, Jose Toda character. Uh, this, this is a key figure. Uh, he also was not the founder of Soka Gakkai. But he was their chief evangelist and the leader after World War II. He was the guy who, who got them their big expansion. Uh, critics remember him as a forceful man who bid his flock to recruit 750,000 followers by any means necessary. So remember that remark earlier about beatings and home invasions? Yeah, that was kind of his thing. And uh, meanwhile, Daisaku Ikeda remembers this man as an inspirational figure. So much so that he wrote a book, and then that book became a 20-episode OVA series. This series. Next slide. Idaina Ningen Kakumeva Yamate Kokuno Shkume no Tenkango Monashitome Saran Zenjindi no Shkume no Tenkango Mo Kanoni Sudunoda. の法則とリズムを持って運行するこの大宇宙。そこに浮かぶ地球という一個の惑星。その中の日本という島国の一宮で、私は今何をしようとしているのか。人々に幸福と平和をもたらす光線ルフの戦い。それは生命のリズムを
And on the right is a young, handsome Daisaku Ikeda. I mean, a uh, fictional character, Shinichi Yamamoto. That was actually a pen name he used. They weren't trying to hide his identity. But I love the fact that, like, I got to put myself in this anime and I'm going to make myself all handsome and dashing. <laughs> Good stuff. Anyway, let's get a little bit more serious and a little bit more weird in the next slide as we behold the true name of the one true Buddhist faith, which is just a whole bunch of uh, incredibly intimidating uh, kanji in this next slide. Yeah, there you go. Now, if we go to the slide after this one, uh, you can see their name in English, which is Jodo Shinsu Shinran. Uh, the roots of this organization lie in one of Japan's most popular sects of Buddhism and in the life of a monk who lived in the 1100s. Let's meet him real quick and go to the next slide.シャクソンは全人類の救われる道を解き明かされていかれた。それが仏教である。その釈尊の本意を明らかにされた方が日本にお生まれになった親鸞上人である。親鸞上人の90年のご一生はまさに波乱万丈であった。Okay, now if we go to the next slide, we can learn a little bit about uh, Shinran Shonin, uh, the monk we just saw. This was a real dude who lived in the 12th century and uh, is, is celebrated in the Buddhist faith. Uh, he trained as a Tendai Buddhist, which was kind of a mainstream Buddhist monk, but he split from that tradition to preach true pure land Buddhism. Uh, one of the things he did was he married a lady, which you weren't really supposed to do. Uh, unfortunately, uh, since, since I'm still watching the clock and uh, I want to make sure we don't run out of time, let's jump ahead to slide 47 where we can meet the leader of the modern day Jodo Shinsu Shinran cult. This 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 guy's a cool looking dude. I'm, I'm, uh, he, he, he totally looks, uh, that's uh, slide 47, like uh, like a character from the, uh, from the Yakuza video games. Yeah, look at that. Kentetsu Takamori. Now, if we go to the next slide, we can learn a little bit about Jodo Shinsu Shinran. Now, there is a major popular sect of Buddhism in Japan called uh, True Pure Land Buddhism, Jodo Shinsu. That's a thing, and this ain't it. Uh, this is Jodo Shinsu Shinran, which is Shinran's True Pure Land Buddhism. And this is what these Kais do. Uh, they, they want you, you know, they'll tell you that they're the real ones. You know, they're, they're uh, it's kind of like the, you know, Jews for Jesus insisting that they're the real Jewish peoples. You know, they say that they have between 50 and 100,000 members. Uh, that's probably not true. They don't like to be called a new religion, a Shinku Shukyo. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of these cults will recognize to an extent that they're a fringe group. These guys get mad if you try to do that. <laughs> and they're scam artists. Uh, they employ a bunch of routine, well-documented methods. Like they'll set up free lectures on college campuses. They do door-to-door -door sales to old folks. Uh, like universities know to watch out for them. So let's see the historical account of the monk uh, Shinran uh, as he searches for enlightenment by isolating himself. Let's see his vision in the next slide. Tai-sama.
大師様聖徳太子様我が三尊は神社界を消す自治域は大乗相応の地なり Okay, let's stop right there and go to the next slide because that's the important thing. There it is. There is the kookiness. Japan is the most suitable place for the true Buddhism to full flourish. And that is the core tenet of Jodo Shinsu Shinran, that, th that they practice the correct Buddhism, that Japan is the best place for Buddhism to be practiced. Uh, they have a nationalist streak, basically. And th this character, Prince Shotoku, that was a real dude. How real was he? If we go to the next slide, you can see that he was on money, man. Uh, he's also said to have met Bodhidharma, who is the ancient monk who is credited with bringing Buddhism into China and points eastward uh, when he came to Japan. So all through this, these guys were going ahead and working. Yeah, yeah, we're the main Buddhists angle. And uh, they're still going. Uh, the, the, you know, this weird, dry, old OVA series was one thing. But let's look at the trailer for their new movie, which is in the next slide. <laughs> でも、魚は人間に食われるために生まれてきたわけじゃないだろうこの世は人の力ではどうにもならんことばかりだ。教えてください、シンラン様。お前は俺と違って賢い。学んでおいで。ありがとう、兄。ユイネン、そなたの名前だ。ユイネン、シンラン様のお話を聞かせていただくことよりも大事なことなんて。ないんじゃないのか、ね、何の意味があるって言うのよ私は親不孝者です葬式などしなくてもいいよ彼女のためにお前ができることは何だあいつは私を成長させてくれる存在だと気づいたのですまた話を聞きに行くと何が言われたのかわからなくなっちまった善人なをもって王女を研ぐ言わんや悪人親教えてくださいなぜ善人よりも悪人なのですか Uh, yeah, I want to apologize. That text was pretty funny. If we can go to the next slide, we can see the poster. Uh, yeah, the, I had that translated by, <laughs> by Neil here, who is in the channel. And he's like, what did you do? Because, yeah, when I checked it, it was fine. I don't know, man. I don't think I even opened up and went into that file. But clearly, Handbrake uh, was up to some kind of mischief there. You can blame anyway, me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's that's that works for me, JP. So the ta the Tani Show is a real thing. It's a badass book of poems and essays that was written by one of the disciples of Shinran, Yuan. And, and that's the kind of thing that these organizations do. They'll take something that is familiar and they'll put their name on it. And it's confusing and really compelling. And it totally works. Now, uh, we only gonna, we're only going to have about 10 minutes each for our last two entries. So let's, let's meet what is probably the MVP for this panel in our next slide. あなたが作った霊界通信機試作段階にしてはようできましたなもちろんまだまだ解決せなら問題もありますけどなここは お、<笑> ようやく会えたね。<笑> 
星川龍太君ミスターエジソン Oh my god. Yeah, let's,、uh, let's go to the next slide.、Uh, because、uh, we are going to learn all about Kofuku no Kagaku, Happy Science. And、uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Happy Science already, because Happy Science are actually big on outreach. They've made a whole series of feature films. Most of them have been either dubbed or subtitled in English.、Uh, they, they do movie screenings. They really want you to know about their,、uh, their particular brand of craziness. And before we go forward, I just want to interject on a personal note. If we go to the next slide,、uh, I, I really want、uh, Happy Science、uh, to, to just go to hell for, for going out there in New York and other places and saying that they have a prayer based cure for the novel coronavirus. And, and also, po also pointing out, by the way, this came from China because these guys are nationalist as hell, too. And if we go to the next slide, we'll see that the New York Times themselves have also given them grief. For daring to say something like this. And、uh, never let these people forget that they did this. This, this is incredibly scummy. It totally sucks. And、uh, because I'm still watching that clock, JP, I'd like you to skip the next clip and go to slide 59 so we can have a look at the leader of Happy Science, who is a, a gentleman named、uh, Ryuho uh, Okawa. Uh, he certainly looks like a man of enlightenment and, uh, and, and, uh, and taste and、uh, good fortune. And、uh, so let's, let's then、uh, look at the clip after this to learn more about him. Aphrodite. Hermesio, my oi. Hermesio, my wa kore yori aratana jinsei o ayum. あなたはどなたなのですか我が名はオペアリスオペアリスオペアリスの神といえば偉大なる天地創造の神そのようなお方がなぜエルネスよ全ギリシャの人々に幸福をもたらす存在となるそのためには私の授ける使命を果たさなければならないオフェアリスの神よその使命とは戦うのだヘルメスギリシャの平和を脅かしている巨大な勢力と戦い倒さなければならないミノス王ミノス王の軍隊はスティアの50倍の勢力はあるであろうしかし戦わなければならんのだ全ギリシャの人々のためにいかにすればミノス王を倒すことができる自分自身の知恵の力で考える。知恵の力。ヘルメスの勇気を持て。Look at that beautiful animation, man. High production values in these films. And JP, I'm once again going to ask you to skip forward. Let's go to slide 63. Which is,、uh, that, that's the one where we can see that、uh, Mr. Okawa, like all these other guys, has a whole line of books that you can buy. And、uh, this one in particular is it's, it's a public service that he's doing. He wants to teach the people about exorcism. All he wants to do is to protect you and your family from evil spirits. And、uh, this distinguished religious leader, he's just trying to help your family、uh, save, you know, be safe from evil spirits from cartoons. And if we skip ahead, we're going to skip the next clip to slide 65. Uh, because we are talking about a feature film adaptation of one of his books. And in fact, most of these feature films,、uh, we're going to watch just a couple more clips that Happy Science have made, are based on books that he wrote. And、uh, that character, Hermes, is very important because Mr. Okawa says that he's Hermes. And that's, that's not the Greek god Hermes, that's a quasi historical figure that's kind of made up.、Uh, he carries the staff of, uh, of, of, uh, of Hermes, you know, the,、uh, the whatchamacallit, the Cadeus, the Caduceus. And,、uh, and you know, he's the pers pers personification of divinity. So if we go to slide 67 and trigger the clip there,、uh, we're going to learn more about this mysterious figure. Uh, that is not slide 67. You may have to consult the deck. I'm sorry we're skipping around. We're just,、uh, I just want to make sure we get most of the end. There we go. Perfect.
going on? I don't know. This was the second happy hey, science film I saw, and it was very instructive. Why don't we see if we can get this thing to the surface of the ocean? Because I thought this was an original story, and it's not. In fact, it's a sequel. So let's go to the next slide, and we can see that uh, Hermes is uh, Ryuho. It's totally the same dude. Uh, the religion makes no bones about this. It's in the text. And uh, the adherents will unwaveringly tell you that this is one of the wisest, most powerful men on Earth. And if you want to know just how important uh, Ryuho is in terms of the entire world's religious canon, let's just watch the next clip. Now, please, let us wash the body of our savior. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <gasps> the door is opened! Our savior's body has disappeared. <gasps> Sorry. <gasps> Who's there? Uh -huh. Did you two move the body? N no, uh, please, let me explain. Oh, Maria, no! And here's where you learn that the most important person, religious figure in the world, is it Jesus? No, it's this guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, let's go to the next slide real quick. And where we're going to learn that Happy Science, Kofuku no Kagaku, it's the Institute of Research in Human Science. They rebranded too. And this is the official scientific symbol of happiness. So the deal with these guys, if we go to the next slide, uh, is that the founder is the reincarnation of Hermes, Buddha, Muhammad, Christ, and Moses. He is also the supreme being. Uh, they teach principles of right mind and happiness. And they are a prosperity religion. These guys are very big on telling people that if they join, they will become rich. They have a political party. They keep trying to get seats. Every once in a while, they, they get a couple of city council seats, but uh, they don't have a lot of success there. And one of their core tenets is that North Korea is definitely going to nuke and colonize Japan, so we have to strike first. And we're out of time to watch the rest of their videos. But like I said, fortunately, you can watch a lot of these movies online. Happy Science have an entry at the Anime News Network and Encyclopedia. If we go to slide 80, uh, JP, we can see one last slide of Mr. Okawa saying, hey, guys, buy my books. Because he, this guy has published over a thousand books books and manuscripts uh, a lot he, he gets around this uh he hasn't written that many books but he uh he publishes transcripts of his lectures as books uh because so, this guy's a talker and uh and that's that's the deal with happy science unlike the other face they didn't hire toei to make a cartoon they did that for the first movie hermes winds of love but after that they got the director into the cult and they uh they had him set up their own studio
Anyway, I'm tired of this Messiah. Let's look, let's take a real quick look at another Messiah. Next slide. アダムとエヴァの罪によって堕落した人類を救おうと神様は2000年前地上に救い主イエスキリストを遣わしてくださいました。しかし当時の人々はイエスキリストを救い主として信じることができず十字架にかけてしまいました。長い苦しみの末に
the other guys that made cult anime. And uh, actually, if you do research into this subject, these cults trash talk each other constantly. It's actually, it would be hilarious if it wasn't for all that murder and extortion. Uh, there was a Russian backer of this guy who was going to break him out of jail with a stolen hind gunship. Uh, that didn't work out. Uh, and yeah, Asahara fancied himself a musician. He sang that song himself. He acts in this whole recruitment cartoon himself. And Aum are actually still around. They've rebranded. But uh, Shoko Asahara, he is not around anymore. Yeah, they hung him last year. They gave him the death penalty. So if you move on to slide 93, you can also see that Aum made comics, manga, uh, because Shoko Asahara was an anime fan. He loved uh, Princess Anmitsu and Eighth Man cartoons as he was growing up. And if we move on to our next slide, 94, we can see some more comics. And these, these look like popular comics of the day, don't they? That's what these guys did. They would take familiar stuff and make it look like their stuff. So we are going to rush to our conclusion now because we got one minute left. Uh, we are going to skip uh, one more creepy recruitment clip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post a couple of these on my Twitter so you won't miss them, guys. So if we go to slide 96, JP, we're going to review what we've learned in this last hour. Uh, these cults are all dominated by charismatic leaders. Uh, they need believers, and they go after people who live on the margins. They go after students. They go after old folks. They go after lonely workers. They go after people without a lot of friends. And they reach these people using stories and symbols uh, that are familiar, anime and manga. And they use anime to communicate these stories. And it's interesting. I think more people ought to know about it. Uh, but I have one big takeaway. Uh, is that's a unanimous subject matter in almost all of these. Only Jodo, uh, you know, Shinsu Shinran, isn't all about this one subject. But every one of these cartoons was about the same subject. And if we go to the next slide, I'll reveal what that subject is. It's all about me, baby. The true face of most cults is that they are many people in service of one. Where one is some dude selling trashy books about enlightenment. Only Jodo Shinsu Shinran are the exception. Every one of these cults, most of their animated work was about the cult and about their leader. Come read my books, everyone. And uh, one last note before I wrap this up is that if we go to the next slide, we haven't even found all of them. Uh, these movies are considered lost. Uh, they, um, first one is Renyo Monogatari. If you didn't see it in theaters, you didn't get to see it at all. It hasn't been released on video. The other one, Mametsu no Shushi, came out on video, but it, it was produced by the Byodo Daikai sect, the Great Equity Society. And they have no outreach beyond Japan. They don't want non-believers to see it. And that's really pretty interesting, isn't it? So let's end it now. Uh, go to slide 100, JP. I'm sorry to keep you one minute over time. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I just want to thank you all for coming to this panel and go to the next slide, slide 101. But before you go, we'll play off with the song. Thanks, everyone. And slide one or two. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us, Mike. That was uh, some very powerful stuff. Yeah, that was Shoko Asahara harmonizing with himself. Cool. And uh, one of those last clips you saw there, that was him and his daughter. He was a family man. Uh, so, yeah, do you real, have any... real creepy stuff. Do you have anything that you want to plug before we uh, go to break? Uh, one thing that I had to skip out on was that if you search for anime cult classics and my name, you will find my anime news network column on the subject. It hits on a lot of these. But not all of them, because like I said, I keep coming across more of these. And so I will almost certainly be revising this panel again for future events. I'm glad everyone on the internet here got to see it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go to break, all everybody. 